in this discussion you can see how to use filtered method and what is the purpose of this method in case you missed previous discussion about name underscore search method please check link is given in description so first we will see what is the why we need to use filtered method in uh, development side if you know the core python one method is widely used which is a filter filter will help to add conditions and based on that conditions it, it will return the values based on that filter so the same thing we are just trying to implement in odoo and using filtered method so let's see how to use i'm going to terminal you can see here this is our odoo's terminal we are, we are performing all the operations here so first thing is again go to browser and in student profile you can see total 16 records is available let me add one more instance like self.env school.student and student list stud obj dot search and uh, right now i'm using so you can see total 16 record set is available for the double check you can see here something like this 16 records uh, if you have this student underscore list as a record set and uh, you want to filter one more time let's say like school profile is not uh, configured then i don't want those student profiles or let's say if total fees is more than 1000 then i have to use i have to perform some operation or let's say birth date like this field is not empty then uh, i have to do some uh, like i have to do some other operations so based on that what the normal developer will do something like this we already have a record set they will first convert into ids something like uh, something like this like stood ids if you want to get only the ids list of ids then we have to use something like this dot ids and if you are trying to print here you can see list of ids is available but sometimes what happens some like many developers don't know about this dot ids then what they do like stood id is equal to something like this then after something like uh, stood list and I will append here something like this right dot id oops sorry my mistake stood underscore ids so again I will try to print you can see it's written as a list of it stores as a list of ids but why you are using this for loop instead of this dot id dot ids this is a shortcut way the main thing is if you are optimizing your code it will the operations will perform faster and you will get the result faster if you have like lengthy code and lengthy operations sub operations sub operations having another operations then you have to take care about everything right so again like we are come back to the topic again what happened is like uh, let's say i just got the ids then after i will use something like this search again i will hit the search method like orm method and i will add here the condition something like total underscore fees greater than or equal to 1000 and and like id in this stood ids oops forgot to add comma so again it will hit the again you can see the one query will file to the database and uh, it will return the result something like this like schools to and only one record is found here 
so this is very lengthy thing this is very time consuming also like you again you are going to database and say hey i want only like total fees is greater than or equal to 1000 and ids is like these ids and then we are written the data something like this right it's a time consuming also like it will uh, like always like simultaneously we are hitting to the database it's not a good thing so odoo having uh, some good features and uh, one method is a filtered method so if you have a record set then you can add conditions uh, in the in that record set and again you are just to retrieve the data like again you can just retrieve the specific records based on the condition so something like that we have to use like a filtered method and how to use we will see like stood list we have this one right now what we have to do here is we have to use that record set then after dot then after we have to use something like this f i l t e r e d filtered so we have to use here lambda and uh, for the lambda we have to use something like this if total fees greater than equal to 1000 please retrieve such records which having a total fees greater than 1000 so once i will enter you can see the same result will get something like this but the thing is it won't be hit the database and uh, retrieve the data it's always check the record set and based on that record set like satisfy the condition it will return the record set and uh, yeah you can also add multiple conditions using and or not sorry and or or let's say lm dot uh let's say greater than one if total fees is greater than one and like lm it's a instance name of the of this record set and lm dot if i want like only school is like school underscore type is configured ID. something like this and once i will enter you can see only two records found if you want to double check like why this 24th record is not available because if you will see here something like this you can see the school profile is null and if you want to change if you want to see the name you can see student 007 and if I'm going to browser and see like student 007 this one you can see school name is not configured so that's why that uh, record is not available here let's say I will store into variable stuts equal to so I have a stuts I have a stud underscore list so again I will add filter here also school underscore ID is configured then just return the uh, return the record set so it will return only two record set three and four so there is no any limit to use the filter also you can use or condition and then after you can just use the you can use anything here or or and condition you can also filter so something like this way you can use this filtered method i hope you understood this one how to use in case you have any doubt or query please comment below and see you in next session